Yeah, about six, seven years ago, I became quite interested in where the exact location of Solomon's and Herod's temple was. Um, and trying to figure that out, I stumbled upon an internet site run by Norma Robertson. Uh, she's a graphic designer that lives just south of me in uh, the state of Oregon. And I was able to contact her and exchange some photos. And she quite convincingly um, placed uh, both Herod's and Solomon's temple over this overhead photo. And the Holy of Holies um, is about uh, just east of a tree that used to grow right along now. the wall of the Muslim Museum. She put a, a red dot uh, for Solomon's and then blue for Herod's. Now there's no longer a tree, but a stump uh, remains. Uh, when I was photographing this area in 2014, um, this guy was watching me on his phone, but he's almost standing right on the edge of the Holy of Holies. Now you can go to the Canada House and look down on the site. They have this amazing model. It's, of course, turned around, but uh, it helps you visualize what it may have uh, looked like. For some reason, when you go on the underground tour of the Western Wall, they try to make the case for the temple being at uh, the Dome of the Rock. Uh, this is, of course, uh, not true, makes no sense. But idolatry has started there. You, have peop you see people crying and praying um, to, to the supposed old temple. But either way, I love the fact that there is no marker, there's no current idolatry of the exact site, which is probably best. You can go along the old street at the corner and look up and just imagine how amazing it would have been back in the time of uh, Jesus. But anyway, everyone has to decide this on their own, but um, I'm certainly convinced of that this is the exact location. I also found in history that the Byzantines built a church to Mary just west of the Holy of Holies in the corner in front of the uh, library, the Muslim library.